Hello there. So um, today what we're going to go through is Business Central and how it integrates with Dynamic CRM. So in this demo, what we're going to go through is the initial setup, um, which is first just um, showing you where the, the CRM uh, setup is. Uh, we're then going to go through the options within Business Central and how to set that up. Um, we're then going to go through the details uh, and what is shared between the two systems and also how you can force synchronize the two. So as I just said, these are the steps. We're going to go through dynamic CRM setup, then the business central setup, then the sync options, and then what is moved between the two systems. So the, one of the very uh, first things that you need to do is um, whilst you're in uh, business central, you can press the uh, options in the top left here, go into all apps, and then you have something here called Dynamics 365. Now, you need to be um, the administrator when you're going into here, and this is basically where you would first off set up the, uh, the CRM system. So you can just put something in here like sales. Um, you would then find the um, corresponding um, button and then go through the setup through there. Once you've set up the CRM uh, link and uh, you've obviously got a website, so you can see how the, this one is nolanbusinesssolutions.com, you'll need to keep that URL for when we do the Business Central side. So what we're just going to do here is just jump back into Business Central now, and we now need to set up the options within Business Central. So one of the very first things that you need to do is go into Setup and Extensions, Assist to Setup, and there is a button you need to go through, which is set up Dynamics 365 for sales connection. Now, as you can see here, I've already gone through this, but you can go through the wizard once again after. So you left click on it, and you then go through this initial setup. And the first thing you need to do is paste in the URL um, from the 365 Dynamics uh, CRM. You would put that in there, press next, put in your credentials here, and then press finish. So once you have that set up, you are then ready to choose the options and also you need to map the salesman into uh, the owner as well. So the easiest way to do that is by pressing the search up here, putting in 365, and once the setup is done, you'll see then some new options of Business Central, and the one you want to go into here is 365 Connection Setup. So in here is the, um, the master control uh, between the two. So first off, you have the connection details, which um, basically is gathered from the wizard that you would have just gone through. And then we have some other settings here. You can choose um, if the item um, is availability via the web service, uh, sales order in uh, integration is enabled, and automatically create sales orders enabled as well. Uh, these two and this is actually defaulted to no, but you just simply toggle them on if you uh, need them on. Just going through a couple of the other um, options we have here. So again, you can choose to run the assisted setup. We can test the connection to make sure everything's um, looking good between the two. And then we have something here called mapping. So this here is the, uh, the table um, which you're going to be uh, updating between the two. So you can see here, these are from Business Central. So we have the contact table, for instance. And we have here the integration table into CRM, which is going to be updating. Um, we then have a bunch of filters here, which basically uh, looks at what to update between the two. We just scroll across here as well. Um, we can choose um, to synchronize only coupled records. So that basically means where a, a user has been mapped successfully between the two, and it won't just bring across um, any records which haven't been coupled. We can also see here when uh, the last synchronization has been done. In here as well, we also have the, the job log. We can also uh, force synchronization for a modified record, or we can actually just run the full synchronization, which will look at every single record and uh, update both systems. So back onto this tab here, again, we have these options to synchronize modified records and also look at the job log. Um, you can also see here any records which are skipped. So for instance here, we've got one customer and one item which was skipped. Um, you can then see the, the log um, and fix the coupling because that's probably what is failed on. Just a couple other things we can do here. Um, this um, is the most important thing here called couple salespersons. 
So when you click on here, you will basically be given the ability to match the owners, which are from Dynamic CRM, onto a salesperson. So you can see here at the moment, I have um, myself here, and I'm coupled with the salesperson code PS. So PS would have been created in Business Central, and I've basically mapped that. So any records which is PS um, sales code in Business Central will be mapped to the owner of Andrew Butler in CRM. So that is pretty much it for the setup. So as I said, after you've made um, any kind of changes, you'd always test the connection. You can also run the uh, full synchronization as well, which will basically um, post the records between the two systems. So once the initial setup is done, um, what we can now do is have a look at what is actually pushed between the two. So what we're going to do now is go into sales, and we're going into customers here. And we have a customer record here called um, Relay Cloud. And what we can um, see here is we have the salesperson code PS, so that means we're expecting um, this record, once it's created on Dynamic CRM, also to be assigned to Andrew Butler. Uh, we can also see here we have the balance, which we should also see on CRM, and the other details are um, things like the uh, customer name, the address. We also see, should see um, the contact uh, record as well. And if we just look to the right-hand side here, um, we have this new section, once the setup has been done, called Dynamics 365 for, uh, for Sales Statistics. So you can see here the opportunities, quotes, and cases, once they're created in CRM, and the synchronization has gone to the next run, we can see here um, any which have been created. So we can see here currently we have one open case, so we can click onto that. And then we can see here, we got one current case which has been recorded and it's a customer complaint. And what we can even do is we can actually jump into Dynamics and see that record and perhaps see more details. So we can see here is a customer complaint and we can see here it is to do with the product Amsterdam Lamp. And we've got the more description here which is issue with the lamp on delivery requesting a refund. So straight away we can see here the case and more the detail. So um, whilst we're in CRM, what we're just going to do is we're going to jump to the accounts, and we can see here we have the account um, Relay Cloud which is being created. So we just go into there. Again, we can see the usual kind of CRM activities in the middle. But if we just look on the right-hand side, we now have a tab called um, Business Central uh, Statistics as well. So we can see here the account number being associated with Business Central. There is the balance, so 6341.88. And we can just kind of jump back here into the main record, look at the balance, and it is indeed 6341.88. We can see here any outstanding orders, and we can see any outstanding invoices. So this is perfect for if you have salespeople who just use a CRM system. If they're obviously looking to sell into an account, it's obviously important that they see the kind of current situation financially. So if they were trying to do a new deal, for instance, and they had quite a big outstanding balance, it may affect kind of uh, things going forward. We can also see here all of the service. So we can see here the total there, any overdue amounts, and any contacts as well. So that is the details which is pushed between the two. Um, we can see here the owner is Andrew Butler. That is because we um, set up the coupling for the PS code, which is shown here, and we coupled that with the Andrew Butler record, which is why um, it is showing that on CRM. So um, whenever you create a case um, or a quote or an opportunity, uh, once it's created on CRM, you can um, choose to wait for the uh, half an hour synchronization, or as I said, you can force synchronize the two. So if we just go back to CRM here, and what we can just do is create another case. So just go into cases, add new case. So this time we're gonna say um, a refund now due. And we can just fill out the details here. So once we press save, we can see that the case has now been created. I'll just give that a refresh. Yeah, there it is there. So at the moment, if we just press refresh on Business Central and go back into that customer record, 
we can see there that instantly um, it's already added the case on here. So we can click onto there and we can see here the refund now due. And again, we can then jump to the uh, Dynamics 365 and see that. So as you can see, the, the integration between the two is um, very fast, very slick. Um, the setup is um, pretty um, straightforward. And um, this basically gives the ability for sales to see kind of the full picture of the account they've won and how this situation is going. And on the flip side, any kind of uh, finance people can see the account and um, drill out that information from CRM and see the opportunities, any quotes and any cases which arise. So that is the, um, the demo uh, of the sync between Business Central and Dynamic CRM. If you do have any questions or you are interested in um, Business Central, here are the details here. So hopefully we can hear from you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.